All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be going through 10 quality of life mods for oxygen not included in 2025. These don't add free resources, they don't change balance, they just make the game easier to read, plan and control. Huge shout out to all the people who actually built this stuff. I'll mention uh, the author for each mod and I'll put links to their workshop in the description so you can go through them uh, and thumbs up or favorite if you end up using their work. Let's jump into it. First one is Better Info Cards by Az. Um, Az is the guy behind the uh, strict quality of life mod pack that a ton of people use as their baseline. This one cleans up the little hover cards when you mouse over a tile. Instead of a messy list, it groups similar items together and shows the total mass, average temperatures of all the good stuff in a clean layout. This is super handy when you're looking at big storage piles, mixed vents, or pipe spaghetti, and you just want to know what's actually sitting behind this tile right now. Next up is Better Automation Overlay, also by AS, or AS, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I apologize. Um, but same idea, pure UI polish. It redraws the um, automation overlay so that the ports and the wires are way easier to read. So if you like doing a logic heavy builds, scanners, timers, industrial automation, this one makes it way easier to trace signals and see what's actually hooked to what without squinting at the screen for five minutes. Three is blueprints fixed. Credit here to Fenex Dragon and uh, D Jefferson for keeping the original Blueprints mod um, alive and working on current versions. I believe that was by Mail, I believe, Mayal maybe. Um, this lets you uh, drag select an area of your base and then save it as a blueprint and then stamp that same layout somewhere else. Uh, in normal play, it just places buildings and dig orders, nothing cheaty. So let's say you build your spawn or ranch layout once and you test it. Um, you'll then have the option to reuse it as many times you want instead of rebuilding it from scratch every playthrough. Now, I still personally like to rebuild my stuff because I feel like it, they never really go in the same spot perfectly. But I absolutely love this for when I'm trying to make videos, especially in the sandbox mode, because it lets me quickly and easily just replicate something so that I can do a perfect side by side comparisons. So shout out to these guys for uh, keeping this blueprints running. Number four is plan buildings without materials by Karath. Um, Karath has done a ton of foundational Ani mods. Uh, and this is one of those, once you use it, uh, you never wanna go back type of things. It's gonna let you build ghost buildings with materials that you've discovered, even if you don't have them in storage right now. So you can lay out a whole late game industrial block or rocket platform while your dupes are still busy digging and refining the resources. So nothing is spawned in, it just lets you plan ahead without the build menu blocking you. Number five is a bigger camera zoom out, also by um, Karath. Now, I think there's actually a couple people that have done mods similar to this, um, but this simply increases how far you can zoom out and lets you pan a bit past the map edge. Now on larger colonies or multi asteroid setups, being able to see a lot more of your base in one view makes a big difference. It's also awesome for screenshots and recording because you're not constantly panning around to explain what's going on. Now, this is one of those ones that once you use this, I don't think you'll ever be able to play the game without it again. Six is Show Building Ranges by Stefan. Um, he's behind a ton of high quality mods like Stock Bug Fix and Research Q, if I recall. Um, this mod shows the effective range of certain buildings when you place them um, or select them. So think scanners, telescopes, lights, pumps, and a bunch of others. So instead of guessing and having to rebuild the building three times, you can just see the footprint, drop it where it needs to be, and move on. Number seven is going to be sweep by type. Again, uh, from Stefan. 
This adds a filter tool so that you can tell the dupes to only sweep specific types of things. Um, you can drag over an area, let's say just slime or only metals or only polluted dirt, etc. And instead of them hauling every random rock um, from the zone, they'll take that specific thing. It's especially nice in the mid game and late game when there's debris everywhere and you don't want to uh, blow up your schedules with pointless hauling, but you want to move specific things around. Number eight is gas overlay by Swistic. And this I'm really excited to share. This is one of my favorites for sure. Um, this creator focuses a lot on visual clarity, I find. Um, and this one replaces the default oxygen overlay in game with more of a real gas style overlay. Um, every gas gets its own color and pressure shows up in the intensity of that color. It's absolutely awesome. Um, you can instant see, instantly see, sorry, where hydrogen is pooling, um, where your CO2 is sitting, where sour gas is collecting, all sorts of that kind of thing. It's way nicer for diagnosing gas problems rather than just breathable and unbreathable. Number nine is settings change tool. This is another one by Stefan. Um, and this gives you a brush that you can mass change settings on buildings such as enabling or disabling them, um, toggling the auto disinfect or auto repair, empty storages, mark stuff for compost, etc. And you can do it all in one drag. So instead of clicking through 100 buildings one at a time, you simply drag it across the whole farm or industrial block and it's done. Uh, you just have to be a bit deliberate with where you paint it because it will hit everything under the cursor. And number 10 is going to be the mod updater. And this one is again by Stefan. And this doesn't actually change any sort of gameplay at all. It's a tool that checks your installed mods against the Steam Workshop and shows you what's outdated uh, with a nice kind of bulk update option. So if you run a lot of mods, this is how you keep things stable after game patches without playing you know, which mod just broke my colony every time Oxygen Not Included doesn't update. So that's my lineup for this video. Massive respect to all these creators. Um, a lot of them have full collections. So if you like one mod, click through their page and see what else they've built. Um, I will drop the links in the description of the video. But hey, if you've got a quality of life mod you think uh, should be part of uh, maybe a part two video, throw it in the comments and I'll check it out. There are honestly so many awesome mods that I just would never have time to cover them all. Uh, but thanks again for hanging out and I'll see you in the next video.